the um, which McCall. It's just your iron tie, though. Yeah, but they don't know what it is. I didn't know, so I didn't know that I could give it. Well, you could. Cause I could try, right? Yeah, because we're just bloodletting you. Because that's right. It's high. They don't care if you're iron tie. They want. But but that unreasonably high. Okay, that's good. No. Then we don't. Then he doesn't go to waste. No, I think that's a really good idea. I'm just trying to tell most of my people who come regularly. Where 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 would I do that? Well, there's Kamloops, there's a travel clinic in Kamloops, there's Prince George. You just go into Canadian Canadian Blood Services, and it'll say what location, and you could just if you were traveling to Vancouver, Google that, you know. Okay, we'll do. Yeah, something to look at, and just let them know, you know, that you blood let every few months or. Yeah. Yeah. And. Um, can they use your blood? Okay. Because then at least it goes to something. Yeah. See, what I did was I wrote the, the girl in Victoria that did my blood, and they don't know what I have. So I thought that I... Uh, no. Uh, it's called... Iron, I, my problem is iron saturation. But everything else is normal except... Yeah, okay. But I don't think the blood bank would care. Okay. You have to ask. They would scream you. Okay, we'll do. Yeah. I'm trying to tell everybody so that maybe we can have more. You know, I think people who have hemochromatosis. Um, but see, that I'm unconfirmed on that. No, I know, but whatever, high iron. Yeah. They go donate their blood. You know, there's always a shortage of blood. Oh, I, I, I read about that. I just thought I, I couldn't do it because it, I had something wrong. I don't think so. I think it's just high for whatever reason. It's my body uh, is absorbing the iron for some unknown reason. Yeah. I think I have an idea, but uh, when it all started, I had uh, two steel pins put in my arm. I ruptured my biceps tendon, yeah. and then after that, then I had a problem. Oh. So I mentioned that to a few doctors. One agreed with me. The other ones, they don't say too much. In the States, I think they pay people for donating blood. Yeah, yeah. they do. They do. I, I would actually, that would be a great idea. Because they always talk about blood shortages. But think about the people in the States that probably then go and